How's life tonight growing up in the East End? Lovely, because we were all the same. Brilliant. There was no kids any better than anybody else. We all had the same I can't thing. get both of them. So yeah. My husband was a boxer. Yeah. Ten years in, um, Can you tell me a bit about his, uh, his boxing? Well, he's just a, he was in the army and he um, played with boxers for the army and he was an ABA champion when he came out of the army and he packed it up when he was about 21. But, so yeah, ten years doing that. I think it was, um, there was clubs there for him to go to, and, and something for him to do, like a sport. But there was not so much football then, was there, like there used to be, like there is now. But boxing, I think it was a, a youngster's, he used to come up, you know, boxing. How was life different today than before? What different it was then to now? Well, I mean, I can't comment on what it's like today, because I, I'll be honest with you, I don't like it here at all. I, you know, I think the East End's changed so much, it's not for us. No, it's gone down the pan for the elderly people, I think. People say we're, we're better off, we've never had it so well, but we've not. It's for what we've done for ourselves, not what Wendland's done for us. And I think even the situation where we live now, I mean, I hate it, to be honest. Well, it's not a nice community anymore. No. Nobody knows anybody, do they? It's not a nice community anymore. It's not all, um, I'm not being nasty, it's not all our people. And we don't get on with the other sort of people. And that's why I don't think it works. They won't mix, do they? It won't work, it don't work. And as I say, I'm not... Uh, We're the ethnic minority. Now. I loved it years ago. Ethnic minority now in, in this borough. There's more of everybody else. All the people that live in this borough now are either moving to Clapton or Chelmsford or Southend or going abroad. People are just not... East End people aren't staying here no more. They're all moving out. <coughs> I'll have a nice black coffee, please. Well, I've got interested sort of people next door to me now. I'm waiting for someone to come and see me. Where the children are running up and down the stairs till 12 o'clock at night. And I can't go a bit. And yet, the two people I had living there before, one was a 90-year-old lady, she was lovely, the other lady moved away to Somerset to get away from me. So since the two people either side of me had moved in, my life is hell. Because I've got four kids this side, three kids that side, all the kids from down the other end was out there last night screaming their head off till 10 o'clock. I've got a problem with that. And it's just not life as it used to be. One's Irish, but she's English, she was born here, and the others, I don't know where they've come from, but they're not us, they're not me, they're not English. And that's how it is now, all along the land. When I first moved in there 16 years ago, they were all my people. I can't, can't help it, they're my people. Now, I'm the only one there. Do they speak English? Not, not all of them. pensions in the world. I mean, you go to other countries, they look after their pensioners. This country does. This country used to look after its pensioners. I remember when my mum was a pensioner, they got a week's holiday. Oh, do you remember? Mum and Tilly used to go on that week's holiday from the camp. Oh, yeah. Nothing like that now. Not for us old people. You're at the bottom of the list if you're ill, going in a hospital. Her husband's had so many knockbacks, he can hardly walk. I see him myself in the doctors this morning. And, yeah, and he could hardly walk. And it's been, how many times has that been cancelled? Two years. It, it is just a joke. It is a joke for us old people. How do you think the Olympics is going to change on that? The Olympics won't make there. no difference. It might make a difference to a few younger ones. We didn't I don't think it might. I'm younger. I'm younger yeah. than I don't think it might make any difference to us at all. Now, I've got a cousin who's in his 30s. He's tried four times to get tickets. He can't go. And he's got a good job. He earns lots of money. You know, he's, he, he's got a good job. I, we always think it's because you're in the East End. You, you, you know, you're not earning the money, so you don't get the money for the tickets. But it's not true. It, all these tickets for the Olympic are going to uh, 
from Germany, all the abroad. We should get. Don't worry. You know, our kids, my kids, couldn't get a ticket. Oh, sorry, Dad. We should you know, get us free, to be honest. Uh, and the we Olympics is a mean, waste of time. Not that I'd want one, but I think the, the English people that live in around this, this area and Stratford should get a ticket free. Because we've had to put up with all the dirt and the nonsense yeah. and everything. The train's not running because it's got, something could, it's got to be done for the Olympics. We won't be able to go anywhere. No, exactly. no, 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 no. It'll be chaos. To be honest, well, it's only for two weeks, but afterwards, will it be a white elephant? I know what the stadium's going to be sold to West Ham, and West Ham don't really, a lot of supporters don't want it anyway. My son's a West Ham supporter, he doesn't want it. They're all right where they are. They want to stay where they are, but they've they bought it, so it's going to be. But the rest of it, who's it going to go to? Give it a few years, it'll be a white elephant. Yeah. Just sitting there. But well, they're even talking about pulling some of it down. Yeah. It ain't up yet. A lot of it's going to be flats and houses, homes, you know, when they're finished with where people are living and while they're there. But who thought? That's right. Why people put people no. on the edge of this? That's for sure. Yeah, you know. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. Thank you very much. Thank you, darling.